Welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, this time I've got a uh, Sheraton two drawer stand. Uh, I believe it's New England, uh, 1820 to 1830. Overall, it's in uh, decent shape, uh, but the uh, top has some water damage um, and a uh, little bit of damage to the legs. Uh, the top is loose. So I'm going to do a complete refinish on this and then uh, do some repair on the legs. Uh, Two of the casters uh, broke off. Uh, the customer gave them to me in a bag here. Uh, the drawer pulls are a later reproduction. They're in good shape. I'll just take those off and then put them back on. Uh, it has these uh, fantastic uh, rope twist legs. Attached on the right hand side here. But on the left hand side, a little bit of uh, damage to the bottom of the leg and the leg, the uh, casters broke off. Uh, this video is going to be focused strictly on the uh, repair of the bottom of the legs here. Okay, I've got the uh, stand all stripped down and cleaned up. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the feet here. Um, as you can see, they're uh, all chewed up on the bottom. The cup casters are supposed to fit on, but they're not. Uh, the bottom is uh, chewed up, so can't fit on. So before I even stripped it, I was planning to uh, replace the entire bottom part here from this edge down. But after stripping, I discovered something. Uh, this one foot has already been uh, replaced. Someone had already done the same repair. And they used maple here. So I'm going to leave this one alone. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this one. And then uh, trim the other ones back to here and replace this entire bottom. But this time I'll use cherry instead of the maple. I finished turning those new feet. Now I'm going to trim off the damaged section of each leg. I left a little bit of excess. Now I'm going to go over it on the belt sander and grind it down so it's square and even with the bottom of the bead. And do a little filing as needed to square it up. Now I'm going to take a centering gauge and mark the center of the leg. I just go around and make several marks to find the center point of the leg. Then take an awl and mark a center point. And then drill a 5 8 inch hole. Then glue the foot in place and made a 5 8 inch tenon on the end of the foot. Now the casters have a stem in the middle. I have to drill a hole for that. I'm going to drill a 3 8 inch hole down the center of the foot. And use the same centering gauge just to mark that hole. And once again, drilling a 3 8 inch hole. Uh, this hole got a little off center. So I'm just walking the bit back over towards the center. And I'm also going to ream the hole out a little bit at a little bit of an angle to accept the stem.
After I'm done finishing the table, I'm going to screw the casters into place. Now I'm just going to do a quick check on the table saw to make sure it's sitting level, and it's not quite sitting level. And it's wobbling a little bit. Later on I may have to do a little bit of shimming. Uh, first I'm going to try just switching a couple casters. See if it makes any difference. Uh, it doesn't. So I may have to do a little bit of shimming later on. Okay, I went ahead and got the uh, whole table finished. And I colored the new feet to match. Now I'm going to flip it over and install the casters. And the casters fit right on. And I'm going to drill some holes and put some number four wood screws in. Now I'm going to set the table on the uh, table saw again and check for any wobble. And it's sitting perfectly level. Okay, that's it for uh, this uh, video on the uh, two drawer stand. Um, about halfway through this video, I kind of got a little bit sidetracked and uh, decided not to show the uh, finishing part. Uh, got the top back on. Uh, the finishing was just uh, shellac and wax. Uh, I've done that in other videos, so I decided not to uh, show that. Uh, then just focused on doing the uh, repair on the feet, which came out great. After I installed them, uh, I put it back on the table saw to check for level and it was perfectly even and level so I didn't have to do any kind of shimming to the feet or anything uh, when I was test fitting them I thought maybe I might have to shim them a little bit uh, ended up sitting uh, perfectly level once I screwed them on 